YouTube welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be my makeup basket for the week of April the 7th yes today is April the 7th so I'm going to jump right into what I'm going to be using this week and I have two foundations um, both are from It Cosmetics. One is the Bye Bye Foundation Full Coverage Moisturizer. And I have it in the shade Rich Honey. And I also have the It Cosmetics CC Plus Illumination. Here also in the shade Rich Honey. So I'm going to be using those this week. I am trying out a new foundation and you will see a video from me on Tuesday and that is going to be using the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Foundation and I have it on in the shade Rich Natural so I, I was able to reach out to um, It Cosmetics and they were nice enough to send me this shade and they also sent it to me in the shade Rich Sand so you will see a video on those two on Tuesday and that is the foundation that I'm wearing on my face today. Um, for my eyeshadows, I am going to be using the Mali Muted Muse Rose Gold Eyeshadow Palette. And it looks like this. I am going to be using from Revolution, the or Revolution Beauty one of their reloaded palettes and this is in the in affection and i did promise i would do a video on these revolution palettes that i picked up from ulta this is what it looks like i am also probably going to be pulling out one of my matte palettes to go with this because if you look at this every single shade in it is a shimmer or has glitter in it so i need something matte to go with it a palette that I just picked up, um, picked it up from Walmart, and it is from Profusion, and it is the Paradise palette, and this is what it looks like. I used this palette today. I tried to record a video of the application of the eyeshadows. I got all the way down to my eyeliner and my camera quit on me so I do not have a complete um, eyeshadow like tutorial using this this palette here but you can see what my eyeshadow is looking like today I will tell you the struggle was real using this palette but I kind of like what the um, the outcome was so I'm going to be using this palette this week more than likely it will not be for a colorful look I will probably be sticking on this side of the palette so those are my eyeshadow palettes for the week i have one blush palette and this is from juvia's place and i believe this was in my my last makeup basket and it it's saharan blush volume two and that looks like that and i actually have let's see this shade on my cheeks today and i promise you I have some blush on. Every time I put blush on and I look on the camera, you can't really see my blush. But it's there. So that is what I'm going to be wearing this week. I, I pulled out for some reason my Mali um, Face Defender. I think because now I'm getting like oiler, oilier as the weather is getting a little bit warmer. So this is in my basket this week. That and the sponge. And... Mally, not that you're going to be like ever watching this video, but can we get replacement sponges? Like I really like the shape of this just to um, sort of tap across my face. And I know somebody that like I, I responded like to one of her posts on Instagram and they never responded back. But somebody told me they use those regular wedge sponges. I kind of like this and I want some replacements. I think they used to be available, but I can't find them anymore. Anyway, ran over. Um, I did pull out a couple of Mally's um, shadow sticks, Evercolor shadow sticks. 
They have the extras and the velvet. So the velvets are like a matte with no shimmer. And then I have one shimmery one. The shimmery one I have is in the color Sparkle. And it looks like this. And I thought, let's swatch it. I thought that would make like a good inner corner highlight color. And ignore this. This is like leftover foundation on my hand. So this is the shade Sparkler. Sparkler. I have it in the shade Coco, which I thought that I would use as an eyeliner. And these things are super creamy. And this is like a super dark brown. This is not black at all. It's dark brown. But you do have play time with these. I think she said about 30 seconds where you can kind of smudge it. Um, I also have it. These two I'm going to be using as eye bases. I have it in the shade Dune. And I'm trying not to go over that foundation. And Dune is here. And I have it in the shade Sand. And we'll put sand right there. So this one here is sand. So those are her um, shadow sticks that I'm going to be wearing. I, oh, I also have a blush that I pulled out, which is one of my favorite Bare Minerals blushes. And I don't think they make this shade anymore. It's one of their loose powders. And I, I do have two of these. It came in a collection. It is in the shade Bloom. And I will sort of see if I can get some. I like it because this is one of the darker um, blushes that actually really, really shows up well on my cheeks. And Bloom is right there. Um, I feel like everything else I have in here is a lip color. I have one of the Amuse Bouche lipsticks from Bite Beauty and this is in the shade Dragon Fruit. I probably could have done that today with this eyeshadow. I have a um, Bare Minerals. I don't even know what to call this. Might still be from the Moxie line but this is in the shade Elation. I have from, I have a couple of doll 10 and this is like the doll 10 packaging. I have a couple of her lipsticks and these are like, she's like really popular for good nudes. I have one in the shade Good Kisser and that looks like that. And I have one in the shade Sweet Talker and that looks like that. So we'll be doing those. Uh, I don't know why I have so many lipsticks. I was just sitting there Friday just pulling out lipsticks. Like, I'm probably not going to wear all of these. They may end up in a, in a makeup basket next week also. I have a Supreme Sheen from MAC in the shade Zen Rose. And Zen Rose looks like this. It almost looks like that Dragon Fruit from Bite Beauty. This one is sheer though, I think. I think these are sheer. I have an Urban Decay and I think this one was limited edition. It's a metalized um, lipstick in the shade Scorched and this was the packaging. I forgot what collection it came out with but this is what it looks like. And I have two more and then we'll be done. I have one of the Clinique Lip Pop lipsticks um, and it is in the color punch pop and punch pop looks like that and then i have a bobby brown lipstick which i have had for a while and this is just one of her creamy lip colors and this is in the shade italian rose and italian rose looks like this so i think that's it um, I think that that is everything that I am going to be using this week. I kind of just pulled a few things down here that were in my makeup basket instead of hauling the whole makeup basket downstairs. But that is my makeup basket for the week, you all. Thank you all so much for watching this video. 
If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you are already subscribed to my channel, please make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I have a new video coming out. Have a great day and may your day be as flawless as your makeup. Bye. Hey YouTube, just a little side from my makeup basket video. I did want to let you all know that I did purchase something. And I did purchase the Blue Blood palette from Jeffree Star. I was over the moon. Like, I'm not like his biggest fan, but I really was like intrigued by this palette. It is absolutely amazing. The colors are amazing. His quality is undeniable, no matter whether you like him or not. Um, I am going to be trying this palette out. If you want me to do a review of the palette, let me know and I will do a video on it. I just wanted to like come by and let you know the quick and dirty that I did purchase this palette and I will be using it. So if you want to see, let me know. Bye.